I wanted to just show you, I'm gonna fly around a little bit and we're gonna see an amazing estate property. 12 acres, about a 4,000 square foot house, four bedrooms, four and a half baths. It's got everything. It's got a little koi pond. It's got a big fishing pond and it's got an in-ground pool, 18 by 34. And it's got one of those covers that goes automatically and you just hit the button, hit the switch and it covers and an elephant can stand under something like that. So it's safe for the kids. You're really close to town. This is a Danville mailing address, but you're actually in Lincoln County. I just wanted you to enjoy this as much as I do. This is a beautiful place. It's easy to photograph. It's easy to talk about and it's easy to show you. It's beautiful. For the price of a kitchen redo and a garage in California, you can have a place like this. Two bay, attached garage with a big breezeway. I didn't show you the hot tub. It's big enough for hot tub. And then a three bay detached shop. And you'll see the still photographs on that in the video later. I'm gonna show you everything. We're gonna go inside. If this property is perfect for you, fantastic. Call the number right here, give Jeremy a call. He'd be glad to hear from you. You can even text him because he is Y2K. And that's like really cool. Is that cool? No. That's not cool? No. All right, so what is it, Y3K now or what? This estate property backs up to the river in the back and you've got, I don't know, a couple hundred feet of river frontage. How nice is that? And I will show you the path down there. Now, don't let me forget because I usually forget. I tell you, I'm gonna show you something and then sometimes I forget. And if this property is not right for you, fill out this box here and get on our exclusive buyers list because our buyers find out about this at least a week before it goes on the MLS. Now, how cool is that? You're getting a sneak peek at all the properties before it goes out to the general public. Because why do you want to compete against everybody in this market? Come on in. Let's go in. Let's get down on the ground and we're going to go inside. I'm going to show you this really magnificent place. Well, here we are down on ground level and... You can, you can hear the birds. You can hear, it's in Kentucky. You're, as soon as springtime comes, you can hear birds all the time. The pond is right here. You've seen that from the air. We've got a waterfall and a little koi pond over there. And then this is what we call a walkout basement. So you've got a full basement here under this part of the house and you just walk right out. It's like really good usable space. There's like a man cave down there, a family cave. There is another bedroom and it's got a mini bar. I'm gonna show you everything. It's a full granny flat or a teenager suite or something like that, or guest guest house, basically. Come on in, enough jibber jabbering. I've been talking long enough. The driveway is super long and super beautiful and it's paved. So who doesn't like a paved driveway? You can go in the back, because back door guests are best, but I'm gonna take you in the front door because I like you. We can go in the back. There's a hot tub back there. And Beautiful door here. I'm assuming it's fiberglass. Very nice. You got beautiful engineered wood floors. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's pecky cypress or hickory or, or what, but it's really pretty. So you walk in the door, and I'm going to show you all this stuff later. But I want to show you, you get the family cave down there. And then you got half bath here in the hall. Real wide halls, really nice. If you're multi-generational uh, house, that's a three foot door, so that's three or four foot wide hall, isn't that nice? And then you've got a half bath here. And then a master suite here. Check this out. So you could, you could have this to be your, uh, your man cave, your family cave, your family room or whatever. And then this goes out to the, to the garage and the hot tub. But this is used as a master suite now. And it's huge. I've had two humongous master suites in a row now. And then a ginormous walk-in closet, really big. And then another full bath here. Got a lot of bathrooms. Big, beautiful jet tub with the window. You can watch well, total privacy around here, so you don't have to worry about anything. Pocket door here. Love those pocket doors. And you got the hopper and uh, what do you call this? Curtainless shower, just like a walk-in shower that really you just walk into. So that's big. That's like four by eight or something. It's huge. So you got a full master ensuite here. Again, multi-generational. This would rock. While I'm here, let me just show you out here real quick what you got going on. So you got the 
you, and you got an alarm system, as you heard. They just, she just barked at me. There's a full-size hot tub. That's an eight foot by eight footer, like a 500 gallon job or something like that. And then there's the pool. I'm gonna show you all that stuff later. And the garage, of course. Okay, there you go. And big, big uh, broom closet. You fit a lot of brooms in there. So this is just the big entertaining area. All open. People want open floor plans? There's your open floor plan right there. This overlooks, you could sit here on the couch and you could see whoever's coming in. You can see if Junior's home yet from college or whatever. You got a full bar. Plenty of room for a dining room table as well. But, I'm gonna show you the dining room. <laughs> Look at that. This is like a whole, like a all seasons room or something. I mean, it's all part of the house. It's all regular designed and built into it. Isn't that nice? Now this is a bedroom up here and a bedroom up here. I'm gonna show you that too. So what can you see from here? You can see, I don't get along with blinds for some reason. You see everything. There's the pond. Let's go out and see the pool. There you go. Absolutely beautiful. So you got the deck here. Wrap around. In fact, it keeps wrapping around here. Hold on. I saw this earlier, but I didn't understand. There you go. Now you understand too. See how everything works. That's important, isn't it? Got the koi pond there. fire pit and then it's got one of these umbrella things here I love these things these three-point things I said to the seller what do you do with the pool she said you know what I do bring the grandkids over we play all day but she said the real fun is coming out here nine o'clock at night and just sitting and chilling I would bet look at that Isn't that beautiful you got roses here. There's the fishing pond. There's the koi pond. Rock and roll. All right, back on in to the dining room. What would you use this space for? I bet you've got some plans already. I know my wife would. Let me show you the laundry room, this mud room, laundry room thing. Now it ain't fancy, believe me, but I'm just gonna show you real quick. What we got going on, you got washer and dryer, freezer, and big pantry. Yeah, I like it. I like it. You like it? You got plenty of room for stuff. Who wants to go out to eat all the time? It's too expensive. And then who wants to go to the grocery store how many times a week? You need room for all this stuff. Okay, here is a beautiful clean, open, doesn't this, look, doesn't this look like Pottery Barn Kids? Look at this, isn't it beautiful? And this window goes down into the uh, dining room. Huge closet. And we got a full bath up here, copper, full tub. And then one of my favorite rooms, and this is a junior master. You got that big master down there? Maybe this is a master for you. But we call the big one the regular master and this the junior master. However you break it up is up to you. But this is befitting of a junior master or a master for sure, right? And then it's got an ensuite bathroom. One of my favorite bathrooms. I like that. Cobalt tiles. All right, let's go on down. I'm going to show you downstairs in the family cave. When I think of like a man cave, I think of like, you know, a place to go and drink beer and watch football games. It sounds like our regular family meeting place. And then you just come down, two quick little half lights, and here you are. Full fireplace. Here you go. Again, multi-generational. Perfect. Why? 
you got fireplace, you got access right out to the parking lot. Parking lot's right there. You come right in. I'm going to show you outside. You're going to really like that. You got a little micro kitchen here with tile. Full bathroom here. Full bedroom. So that's two twins. So you know you can swallow up a king there, no problem. It's got its own closet and basement. This is patio that goes to that fishing or the koi pond. And then look here. So all season room, three season room, whatever. This is screened. So you could have you could have like your barbecue set up out here. You could put your grill out here, have your barbecue shack out here. Oh man, how nice would this be? Or you want to just sit and listen to the koi pond. Maybe you call it your decompression level or something like that. Brand new carpet down here. A lot of new paint. I mean, the house is really nice. What can I say? 4,000 feet, four bedrooms, four and a half baths. A lot of multi-generational stuff going on here. A lot of multi-generational possibilities here. Big house, lots of opportunities with these rooms. Lots of fun stuff for the kids. You got the river in the back, you got the pool, hot tub, koi pond, fishing pond, lots of barbecue deck, <laughs> and way out in the country. It's just, and close to everything. It may be a great opportunity for you. If so, call Jeremy, number's right there. If it's not the perfect house, great. Get on our mailing list. You're gonna love me for that. You get to hang out with us and do all these properties, see all these cool houses. One thing I didn't show you, I would, have been remiss in not showing you this three bay shop this is a big shop now look here you've got uh, floor drains here how cool is that just in case water gets around here nice okay so this is a working shop you guys or gals who like to do woodworking you'll appreciate it regardless beautiful what do you think lots and lots of opportunities to do lots and lots of projects and then here a farm tractor that's a finish mower remember we talked about a zero turn you could do it with this too it's a four-wheel drive look at this and you got the skylights so it lets a lot of light in lets some heat in in the winter time too anyway this is a poured wall here look around the whole perimeter here and then here too you got a poured concrete wall around here because it's subterranean and then it goes frame up from there. Nice. Real nice. And thank you for being with me today on this warm afternoon at Deer Creek Crossing. It is Miller time and I am out of here. Toodles. Ah, marauders. Mm. Where do I, where do You're I fine. So when you come in here, you got a lot of options. Hunters get turned. Hunter's turning on the... All right, we're gonna start over. Thanks for coming. Thanks for being with me here. My gum got in front of my eye tooth. I couldn't see what I was saying. <laughs> you can even text him because he is Y2K. And that's like really cool. Is that cool? No. That's not cool? Yeah. All right, so what is it, Y3K now or what? Wasn't Y2K like... 2000. He's hip with the jive. On the computers. Yeah. On the Y2K. 2000, yeah. Like you can say 2K. You could say 2K. Hip hop 2K. <laughs> hip hop. You could text Jeremy because he's hip hop 2K. Jeremy would love to hear from you because he's like cool like that. So give him a call or you can text him because he's like hip hop 2K. Hip hop 2K, is that what I should say? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs>